What is up, everybody? Frisky Turtle 19 coming at you with some PGA Tour 2K21. Throughout this series, we're going to be going over some trending maps, um, looking over the community made courses, kind of uh, playing through them, seeing how they go, and seeing if they're worthwhile for you. So let's jump into it. Starting off on a nine hole course called Hilliard Country Club. Um, it is in the trending maps at the moment, so. Go ahead and check it out if you'd like to. We are going to be playing through these courses with the default course settings. Um, we'll be typically playing on Pro-Am difficulty and uh, we will leave the putt aiming on um, just so we can kind of take a closer look at the greens and stuff along those lines. Starting off, par 4 here. Looks like a pretty open fairway. Nice green course. Lots of trees all around. Some palm trees, some regular trees. But looking good. A little bit of water. Looks like we might encounter on a few holes. But let's jump into it here. Alright. Starting off with the driver here. See if we can't hit one straight down the middle of the fairway. Looking pretty good so far. So. A little bit about me. I have played a few golf games. I played a little bit of the Golf Club 2019. By no means am I an expert. Um, definitely enjoy golf games, but thought it'd be fun to kind of play through some of these courses made by our community and see how they play and kind of showcase them a little bit. So, throwing it up here on the green. Green looked pretty flat in the middle of it here, so we just kind of toss it up there. Let it do its thing. Wind pushed us a little bit to the right here. Jumping in. Like I said, the green looks pretty flat right here. So, should be a pretty easy putt. Let's just barely move it here. Just make sure. We don't want to miss our first putt on the video, right? Looking good. Toss her down. So, first hole, par 4. Pretty open. Looks like nice big fairways. Nice big greens to work with. Starting off good. Second hole, moved to a par five. Once again, big open fairways, a little bit more wind on this hole. 517 yards, so I think we can hit this in two. Let's get after it. Pretty good swing starting off. Wind pushing us over to the middle of the fairway. Looks good. Another hole with water close, but nothing that will affect us. Alright, the wind moved us a little bit more in that last hole than we thought it would. This is about the same, so let's adjust just a little bit more. This 5 wood's going to run a lot on us. So let's go ahead and short it a little bit more. Yeah, it's shorted about 10 yards. It says it runs about 13. Let's see if we can't hit that 95%. A little bit hard and a little bit fast. The wind pushing us to the left, that doesn't help. We're going to run way past it. Oh, we get to see how the chipping goes. Sandwich chip, let's go. Up a little bit here. And yeah, let's see what happens. Might run a little bit past it, but... That's alright. Green looks pretty easy to deal with. And knock one down. Starting off birdie birdie, even with the miss hit and having a chip on that green. Pretty easy to recover. Hey, we get a little bit of water coming into play here. Alright, wind at our in our face. We're going to go ahead and go up a club. Nine mile an hour wind. I think this will still make it. It is pushing a little bit left, so let's go a little bit right. I think this should still make it and run a little bit. We might want to make it run a little bit more. See how this goes. Hitting everything fast this morning. And that was almost really bad. I have found that whenever you hit a club fast or slow, it tends to hit it a little bit harder, a little bit further than 
a traditional swing wherever you wanted it. Let's try this again. Let's go up a club. And let's just hit it right at it. Ooh, hit the pin. Once again, greens are not going to punish us. So, go ahead and just tap her in. Nice and easy. And we par the first par three. Didn't get a chance to look. I didn't see if there were more on there. But moving on to a par four. Let's see if we can't get our swing under control a little bit here. Wind in our face again. All right. Fast. We just cannot seem to find that perfect swing in us today. That's all right. It'll come around. Screen looks like it moves a little bit more. Still not too much. Wind in our face. I don't think we need to up club, but I do think we want to hit this 100%. Because that wind is going to knock it down a lot. Maybe let it roll a little bit harder. Let's see how this runs. 100% power. That was just a little bit too much. 7 mile an hour wind in our face does not knock it down enough. This is fair, we were a little bit closer. Didn't hit it as high. I still thought it would affect us more than it did. All right, a little bit of movement. Starts off going right, and at the hole it moves left. A little bit harder. Let's just move it barely left and see what happens. Not enough. So the movement by the hole, by the pin, is a little bit more in this movement early. Let's see how that works out. Let's try it out. I think that was good. Deal. Knock it down for another birdie. Move on to the second par 5 out of four par 5s on this course. So par is 37 on this one, so they took an approach of making it a little bit longer but they made it very wide open. If I wasn't hitting all my drivers and irons fast, we would have been sitting a little bit more pretty in these big wide open fairways, but <laughs> what are you gonna do? You need to slow down that front swing just a little bit. A down swing, excuse me. All right, so this is a little bit longer par five. It does not look like we're gonna make it in two, especially with that wind in our face. I don't even think we'd make it if we took the driver. No. Just not close enough. So let's just throw it out over the three wood and have a nice pitching wedge back in. That was a little bit better swing. So far, outside of my very mediocre gameplay, this course is pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but nothing really to worry about. Alright, so we saw last time, the pitch with the wind in our face, we don't hit the pitch high enough for it to really affect us too much. So we're going to go ahead and play it at that 98%. Another good swing, just short, let it run up, and this one was left short. Really not 100% positive on how to play that wind 100% yet. So another pretty big green. Leaving it short of the hole. Not as much movement as it looks like if we would have hit it past. Looks like a pretty straightforward putt. Let's use this just to see if we miss it or not. No, we look good. Unless we hit it short, which we... Ooh, Thought we left a little bit short there. A little bit nervous. That's all right. Moving on to the second par three. Nice big round green. Not moving too much unless you get back in that top left corner. 
We do have wind at our back, nine mile an hour. So let's hit this a little bit softer. And let's give it a little bit of backspin. Let's hit it about 98% here. Let's see how this works out. Hit it a little bit harder than I wanted to. Hopefully the wind doesn't affect us too terribly much. Ah, pin high. Looks pretty good. Finally had a good stroke. Short putts. Green moving quite a bit here. Looks a little bit faster than we thought, but that looks pretty good. Let's drop that one in for a two on the second par three. Next hole looks like another par five. Looks pretty long, 639 yards. Yeah, so they stretched out these par fives. That's what gives it that par 37. Still pretty straightforward, nothing too difficult here. Let's see if we can't get this swing down. That's a little bit better. It only took us four holes, five holes, but we're getting there. Last couple holes have been a little bit better. Yeah, once again, I don't think even if we take driver off the deck, that's going to make it. So we're just going to go ahead and throw another three wood out there. I think that was a little fast. Yeah, the wind will hold it in the middle of the fairway for us. Though, so we're all right. Green moves a little bit more than the other ones. It is getting a little bit harder. Still, big green. Lots of room to work. Wind is going to knock us down a little bit. So let's just hit it pin high and let it kind of carry up there. Knock it down and hit a little bit right. Plus the green's moving a little bit that way. Let's try right about here. See what we can do. Hit it a little bit hard again and a little bit slow. The wind's going to push it, and that's going to be a little bit too hard, I think. Once again, wrong. The wind does miracles. I try to find myself compensating for the wind just enough, and then find out that it's not enough, and vice versa sometimes. All right, another pretty active green whenever you get close to the hole. Let's try this out. Looks pretty good. Maybe just a little bit more. And tap her in. So, even though we're using the the putt aiming a little bit here, these greens don't look too treacherous. All of them on this back half of this front nine are moving about the same. Nothing too crazy. And they're all pretty big greens, so plenty of room to work with. A little bit of water in this hole, but once again, not really in play. I think there is water in play on one hole so far. Ooh. Just looking at that wind, I'm trying to figure out, am I undercompensating on this one? The 7 mile an hour wind? Let's hit 83. Let's try that out. Pretty good. Wind pushed us really far left and really far this time. Yeah, it was seven mile an hour winds and we hit a little bit longer, higher club, but the wind is incredibly inconsistent in what it does so far, it seems. All right. Lots of movement right to left on the screen. Let's check this out. We're 33 feet from the pin. I don't think this is enough, but just take a peek and see what we need to do to adjust. It was really far off. We are about a little over full square off. So we're going to want to move to here. You know, let's just give it a whack, take a peek. 
deal with the consequences after. Still left a little bit short, a little bit under, but a nice little tap in. Par threes have been punishing us a little bit more than these long par fives. Typically, I feel like my iron play is a little bit better than this. But that's all right. Still showcasing a hole with a little bit more water in it. Another par five. But I don't think that, that water is going to be too much in play. Just barely slow on that downswing there. But the wind kept us right where we wanted to be. All right. Well, four iron, I think, goes into the water. Three wood probably clears it, but why not take a hole and hit the big stick off the turf? Just to make sure we're there. That was an ugly swing as far as the marker, but it's going to work out. The timing was a lot better than some of the other ones. So we will live with it. All right, wind, we're just pitching. Not going to affect us any that much here. So let's trust it. Let's run at 90%, see if we can't hit that number right on the dot. No, we hit a little bit short. Just barely inched up on there. And left ourselves some work to finish this course off with the birdie. Just very, very slightly moves left to right, right off the club face. But then everything else is right to left here. And once you get to that hole, it moves quite a bit, actually. Let's see what that does right there. Last hole, we didn't compensate enough. In this hole, I feel like we compensate a little bit too much. Ooh, this is going to be a tricky one, boys and girls. Not 100% positive on this. Let's try this out. Ooh, just lift it in. Well, there you have it. Pretty straightforward. And like I said earlier, even with some mediocre gameplay, we finished that course at 7 under. Even with some bad swings, we had 100% fairways and regulation. Uh, we did just barely go over one of the greens there to uh, miss one of the greens in regulation. Putts, had a couple two putts in there. But overall, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. I agree with the difficulty on it. Um, but a fun course. Definitely one for some people starting off. Um, like I said, nice and wide open fairways. Easy to... Uh, Easy to still hit the fairway with a fast or a slow swing. The greens, not too terribly hard. Um, nice and easy to, uh, to learn that left and right and right to left compensation. Uh, once you get towards the hole, they move uh, the speed up a little bit more. But it was a fun course. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, love it if you commented and hit that subscribe button. We are a new channel here at Frisky Gaming, but we will be doing some more of these community made trending courses and uh yeah hopefully once we get a little bit better we will start bumping up that difficulty hope you enjoyed and we will see you next time thanks guys